Hey, it's Sizzlin' Popcorn, and we've got some product news from Parallel42. In a social media post today, they said to everyone who said we abandoned Flight Sim because we started selling tents, as in the Parallel42 campout you see here, may your joystick sensors develop a fondness for dust and grime. Yes, that's right. Parallel 42 Immersion is coming. Just to give you some background, this trailer for the 737 Immersion version 2 was made three years ago for P3D version 4. Now imagine this on steroids for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm excited for this. Parallel 42 are known for their visual effects work and this is going to be spectacular. That's all the info we've got at the moment. Whether this is for the 737 specifically, or if it's going to be for several aircraft, that's unknown. Same with the release date and price. Want to see more visual effects from Parallel 42? I recently installed Striper by Parallel 42, and it gets rid of the repeatable loading screen images. It provides you with aerial shots of airports around the world for you to discover. There's a history button so that you can see which airports you've recently seen and jot down the airport code. You can also customize this and decide, hey, all you want to see is French airports or you just want to see airports in Japan or but beyond that it integrates with SimBrief and the flight planes in the world map so that you can see it while loading into the airport. And the last major feature is that Striper will give you a continue button so that you can defer installing an update. For example if you want to do a quick flight or your friends are waiting for you at an airport but then you're faced with an update and you know it ends up that it's like a, like a 30 minute update well instead of doing the update right away you can push it off until after your flight or do it before the next one but don't defer it too long let me know your thoughts on the upcoming immersion product have you had the fsx n or the p3d versions before thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video